Hello kinematics aficionados, I'm Mr. Avis. Today we're going to learn about kinematics. Now kinematics is just the study of motion and the study of motion is going to come down to mostly these three equations which are called the kinematic equations but I like to call them the three amigos because there's three of them and they help us quite a bit all throughout physics. So memorize these because we're going to use these all the time. They also have two friends that didn't quite make it into the rank of amigos. One of them we've seen before, and the acceleration one is just a rearrangement of that amigo up there on the top. Now how do we choose which amigo to use? Well, one of the uh, vice assistant amigos, V equals delta S over T, that one is only used when we're talking about average velocity or constant velocity because it does not have acceleration in there anywhere. So you can't use it anytime you have acceleration. Now, as far as choosing amongst the amigos, when you have a problem, you write down your givens, you look and see what you have and what you don't. Now, each one of these equations is missing something. So the first amigo, there's no delta S variable in there. So if you don't have displacement, and I'm not asking about displacement, then you should use that equation. The second amigo, it's missing V final. So again, if there's no V final in the problem and it's not asking about it, you should probably use this equation. And the last amigo doesn't have time. So if you don't have time in a problem, it's a good clue to use that one. As we do problems like this, you'll get better and better at choosing equations, but this is a good place to start in figuring out how to do that. Now, we're going to have some situations in kinematics where something's in free fall. Free fall means the only force acting on it is gravity. So that could be dropping a ball, it could be the ball going up or to the side, as long as the only force acting on it is gravity. So even if I threw it up that way, the only force acting on it is gravity, so uh, it's still in free fall, even though it's not going straight up or down. Now the acceleration due to gravity is lowercase g. It's a constant when we're close to the surface of the Earth. And that constant is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Now a problem is not going to say that when it talks about an object falling or flying through the air. It won't say what the acceleration due to gravity is. That's something you just have to know. And the negative sign on the acceleration due to gravity shows us that it's always directed downward. Now this acceleration due to gravity is constant, which means it is always that way. A lot of times people will say when you throw an object up and it reaches the peak of its motion, when it stops at the top, some people say the acceleration there is zero. The acceleration due to gravity is never zero. And the first law of cartoon physics, gravity will not work until you look down. So, don't look down, and I'll see you next time.